All right. Little project that we've got for today. Wanted to make a quick video. I'm going to build a teepee. What this is laying here, this is a tarp that they covered lumber and metal, whatnot. A uh, truck driver drove up, brought a bundle of metal that goes to the welding shop that we have that my dad kind of runs or uh, owns up here on the hill. And uh, he had a new tarp, and when he pulled this one off, he said, y'all want that? I said, yeah, I want it. And I've actually had it for several years. In fact, I had a TP built out of this, so I know that it will work. Now, it's not going to be a perfect TP. It's going to be somewhat homemade, but this is a good, heavy-duty, thick canvas. It's not really canvas. It's more of a plastic, rubbery material. If you know anything about trucking tarps, you know what I'm talking about. It's got tie-outs all the way around it, so I can pull things tight or whatever. But I'm going to construct a TP. The poles that I had under it before, I didn't peel them. And they rotted after it stayed there about four, five, or six years. So, and we never even used it a whole lot because it was up there in a low place. We just, me and my daughter, kind of put it together several years ago, and uh, we never used it much. And it's kind of got a little sentimental value because one of my bulldogs that I had, he went down and got in it and passed away. One that we had for like eight years, eight or ten years. So the TP's kind of got some sentimental value, but what I decided is I'm going to construct it on this hill right here. Now I'm going to turn this camera and show you why I'm putting it here. I've got a tent back here in the background, but if you look through this tree, there's a small pond here. It's probably about 25 to 30 yards straight across it, so it's very small. But it's down here in a good location to camp out, and I'm going to take this tent down this is an old tent been here for quite a while but if you'll notice right here this is kind of a hill and i don't know if you can tell with the camera but it never gets wet right here this is kind of a crown of a small hill so this is an ideal location to put up the tp i can come down here and camp out and do what i want to and i'm not a long ways from my house so i'll probably get to use it more uh anytime that i had time to camp in the other place it was wet there and the water kind of run under it, so I didn't spend much time there. It just turned out to not be a good location, but it was inside of the house, too. It was really for us, to, my daughter, to play in. But I'm going to do some camping out in it, so you'll see this TP in some future videos, but what we're going to do is we're going to construct it. So what I've got here, and I'm probably not going to film every bit of the construction. I'll film stages of it and important parts. But I'm going to go cut some more poles, and I'm going to peel them. And probably what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to get the tripod built. Maybe a, a maybe four poles. I don't know. I may do three or four. And get them lashed together good and prop them up. And then, then I'll work on getting the other poles. But I'll peel them. When I get these peeled, these three, I'll show you me standing them up. So we're going to cut the camera off and try to save some time and not make this video extremely long.
I left me a loop in there to keep from having to climb this. And we may wind up having to climb it when we start lashing other poles and stuff anyway. But just to get my rope back for now, we're going to pull it up. And then I may leave this loop through there. But what I did right here is I just tied me a loop onto this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just run my rope right here through it. And this is going to be my line that I use to try to pull this and lift it up. But that way I can, when I get it up, I can need something to prop this up just a little bit on uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> all right we got a rope tied through there. That pole wasn't quite tall enough to get me high enough. So what I did is cut me along the pole. Try to get us some more height right here. Now let's see if that helps us get to it. Seem to work okay. We'll keep this pole, we'll use it for something else. I feel sure. All right. Now, what we'll do now is we'll work this around to where we want it permanently see it without knocking it over, hopefully. Just kind of working it around to where we want it. And I kind of like, I believe, like that. And you got to keep in mind these other poles are going to come out a circular design. So. And that loop that we made, I get my rope back without having to climb up there. Now I'll lash my 
tarp to a pole and push it up so I won't need it for that. We'll get back with you when we get to the next step. All right. We've got our poles all peeled and propped up. Uh, I've got them pushed in just a little bit. So once I wrap this and see how big it is, we can spread them apart and tighten it all up. And I may make it a little bigger and uh, have to add a piece of something to it on the bottom, which will be fine for what I'm doing. Uh, I'm just kind of building it and doing it as I go. So we're going to try to get this wrapped and cinched up here. I may have to get a ladder to do it. I don't want to, but we're going to see if we can get it tightened down. I'm going to take a pole. I've got my line hanging down from where I tied the three poles together. I left an extra piece of rope on there. I'm going to try to push this up to where I want it. It don't want to cooperate. It's going to have to. I'm not going to give it no option. Now this is my line right here that I've got extra. I've got some saplings here that see if I can pull this. Let me get it around this tree out of my way. There. That got that one out of my way. Oh, man. You see these other leaves are a problem. And probably a heavier rope would help. You just gotta kinda work it up. what I'm going to try to do. Let's see if this is any smarter here. I do believe it is. I do believe it is. Okay. I'm around to about where I want to be. Tight. I'm going to bring it in here. I'm going to wrap. 
wrap it. We're going to see if we can uh, figure out a good way to get this tarp up and wrap it around it. I know I've got a hole in there and I'm going to try to make some repairs with it. Alright, I think what we're going to do is pull it around. It's pretty steel. This tarp's hard to handle. It's not light like a canvas. We're going to try to just poke it up a little time and I may have to get a ladder and get up there and pull it. So just bear with me. I'm trying to keep this video as short as possible, but this is going to be a trial and error and I didn't want you to not see what we had to go through to get it because i can promise you it's not easy to build one if you decide to build one for yourself a little help would be nice but i want it to be possible to do this by yourself so let's see what we get here Just gonna work it up best we can. I may have to cut another I think I'm going to bring a ladder in and try to pull it up.
All right. We've got it pretty well pulled up. We're going to finish tightening everything up. I'm going to spare you all the time of watching this. All right. And you see we got it up. And this is going to be our door here. Uh, now, this ain't by any means like a professional TP, but it will work. Uh, this back side, if you notice how high it is, so that it can draft, I'm going to get another tarp that's going to lay kind of out on the ground, and I'm going to go up under that with it. I'll have to redo that string, but I'm leaving it tight because it may be late this afternoon before I get to work on it again. I've got some other things I need to get to work and make some money at, but um, I'm going to do that so that it... Um, so that it can draft because it's got to be able to pull air at the bottom if you seal it all the way to the ground you'll have to run a pipe out to your fire pit if you put the fire inside obviously and that's what i intend to do uh but it'll have to draft uh air in at the bottom so that it don't just fill up and turn into a smokehouse uh so and I may still put a pipe in at the bottom to help with that, make it more efficient. It depends on how well it works. But I do know that I have another tarp that I'm going to go on the inside of those poles and pull up. And I'll leave an air gap in it so that it can draft air up and, and it'll pull air out that top. So when it starts building up heat, that heat rises and it'll draft out the top. Now, I've got this pulled pretty close to the top. Obviously, I don't have a a smoke flap that I can open. So it's got enough hole up there for it to draft. So I don't know if it's how waterproof it's going to be. This is going to be one of those things going to be trial and error. Uh, the other one, the other place I had it, it worked pretty good, but it was sheltered under a lot thicker cover than this is. There's a good open spot out back here. And uh, so, but anyway, we'll get back to you when we get when we start wrapping this bottom. We'll show you, and then uh, I may take you inside and let you get a good look in there. Okay, we pretty much done with it. I built a small fire out of just pine straw to smoke a good bit around here where this pile of pine straw to seal it to the bottom. We run this other tarp, folded it in half, tucked it up under there, propped this stick in there so that it can draft air in there. Right under this way. Where that's high on the side, I've got a hole I've got to fix there. But it's not drafting as well as I want it to. So probably what I'm going to do is I'm gonna come in right here and I'm gonna run me a pipe inside. I'm gonna walk inside and let you look. <laughs> we just made a small fire. But you can see this has got a lot of room in it. This is where I put the stick. See, it, it's, it's helping pull the smoke. But where I'm going to put my fire here, I'm going to run me a pipe, dig a ditch, and put a pipe in there so that it can't cave in. And it can pull air into there, burn more efficiently, and the smoke can somewhat get out. I'm going to repair that hole probably with duct tape. We're not going to get real fancy, but there's a good bit of room in here. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this hole yet. I may get a piece of something and put there. But this is just a quick. Throw together TP. And it wasn't that quick and just throw together. It's fairly well built, but it can be. I don't have any money in it. Thank y'all for watching.